I used to dream of this place when I was a young cut purse. I thought if I can make enough of myself, one day I can go there, hold my head high, order a drink like a normal person. It tastes the same as what we have in the den. Yes, he's the reason I needed a strong drink. According to Magnifica Falora, the Iron Wheels prison ship encountered a storm and nearly capsized. The wave swept a dozen people over the side, Nicholas among them. Body lost to the storm, they said. Neither does Magnifica Falora. Here's a copy of his wanted poster. It's plastered all over Tanith. I want you to find out what really happened. If he's dead, we throw a party in the den. But if he's alive, you track him down and... Do as you see fit. I'll back whatever decision you make. Someone called the Desert Falcon is looking for Nicholas as well. That's how this came to my attention. I want you to see what this Falcon knows. Last I heard, the Desert Falcon was in Greenshade, some tavern in Marbrook. See what you can learn. If any trails lead to Nicholas, follow them. I'll answer what I can. Someone who doesn't realize Desert Falcon is incredibly pompous. Nicholas made enemies over the years. Maybe it's one of them. But why look for him now and not after the dowry heist? Whoever it is, my hope is they're willing to work with you. I don't know how to answer that. We were friends for so many years. He meant so much to the guild. To me. And then he betrayed us. He left us to the mercy of the Iron Wheel. Drowning at sea is too good for him. The Thieves' Guild doesn't murder. And yet, Nicholas was the cause of so much suffering. I shouldn't ask you to do that. In fact, I can't. But if you find him alive and leave him dead, I'll consider him the exception.
over the seas and far away. Over the seas and over the lane, for I ran and a horn o'er the main, the Lord's command, and we obey. Over the seas and You are the last person I expected to see. Did you come to gloat? To tell me my search for Nicholas will end in failure? And how did you learn I was the Desert Falcon? I'm no longer Chief Inspector of anything. After your guild escaped no Shira Citadel, I had no choice but to resign from the Iron Wheel. The journal was a nice touch. I'd hoped it would seal the fate of Nicholas at his trial. But a storm did that, allegedly. <laughs> you don't get that from me. You couldn't follow simple instructions to put down a sparkling trinket. How can I possibly trust you? I want him to see justice. You think you can accomplish that? A Boz landing stains my reputation, but I shall not let you stain my honor. Leave now. If I see you anywhere near my things, I won't hesitate to call the guard. Please do come in. Here at the Parchment and Horn, we do our best to ensure a relaxing stay for any journey to Marbrook. Even yours. A sad day when thieves wish to mete out justice on one of their own. It never ends well, you know. I heard those Daedra you faced at the city of Ash were led by Mehrunes Dagon himself. You must be a beast in battle, my friend.
Don't think I've seen you around. Or I could have. I was quite drunk yesterday. Hello again, for the first time. Are you working for that ram's beak, Falcon Wings fellow? Heard he wanted the same thing. Also heard he was a guard. He sent you then? Fine. Tell him my price. Pay my tab at every tavern in the city. Keep your fists down. Bellalor knows the score. Don't blame me for making a living. The Imperial wasn't a local, just passing through. I'll tell you what I know. First thing, he didn't go by Nicholas. Can't recall his name. Something equally forgettable. But I do remember his high elf companion. A widow she was. My darling Volu, he called her. They were returning to her home. A pleasant little manor outside of, uh, Haven, I believe? In Grotwood. I can't remember anything else. The drink, you see. But they were to be married as soon as they returned. Oh, she'd fallen for him. I could see that. He was some sort of painter? The canvas kind, not tavern placards. He brought some kind of joy to her life. Would have been lovely, but I passed out on the table. I don't often receive visitors in my garden, especially the uninvited ones. Vantis? Whatever for? And who are you exactly? He struggles enough finding his muse. Distracting him with financial matters will disturb his concentration. I must ask you to leave. I will inform Vantis you stopped by.
My darling Volu, is that you in the kitchen? My muse has left me. Perhaps kisses would restore it. You are not who I expected to see. I knew my time here wouldn't last. I hoped it would take longer, though. Zero wanted to make sure I was truly dead, yes? I taught her too well. What business? The man you knew as Nicholas truly died in that storm. I am a changed man. A married man. I live quietly in this house, painting things that my wife adores. I... retired. Ask. I'll tell you everything you want to know. No more secrets. None of them matter anymore. I wanted more. Alone, Abba's landing is a meager prize. But if I could find a way to bring in Tanith... With a stake in both cities, you control all trade in Hughes Bay. But I hadn't. Velsa should have joined me at Maluk's path. After my death, she would lead the others back to Abba's landing. Zira could scatter the guild before the Iron Wheel's arrival. But then Velsa retired and everything changed. Of course not. But had all gone according to plan, Zira could have filtered the guild into Tanith, set up there while the Iron Wheel was chasing them here. And when I was Magnifica Falora's puppet in Abba's Landing, Zira would be mine in Tanith. Very well. We both know my part in what happened to the Thieves' Guild. I won't beg for my life, if that's what you're expecting. If that's what Zira wants from me. But I love her! I see. Zero wants you to take away what's important to me. Go on then. Do what you must. Now, I thought I asked you to leave. How dare you! Ventus is a respected artist from the Imperial City. He fled before all the troubles with the Daedra. You say he is not the man with whom I fell in love? What proof have you? None, of course. The Jewel of Tanith? Marriage? No, I cannot take you at your word. You must understand that. Leader of the Thieves' Guild? Is his name Nicholas? Or is it Kosh? A known con man. This cannot be! I thought he loved me! What should I do? Find this Runbeak. Tell him everything I know. Before the month ends, my soon-to-be ex-husband shall be tried in Tanith. Vantis! Or Nicholas! Whoever you are, you are no longer welcome! My darling Volu, I can explain!
Well, did Nicholas survive the storm? What happened? Is he... Marriage? He sweet-talked his way into someone's life so quickly? He did his unlucky spouse a favor. It sounds as though he has nowhere else to run. You helped restore the Thieves' Guild. Make it more than it once was. Of course, I trust your judgment. Now all the old business is put to rest. Let's go. We have a guild to run. There are heists to plan and merchant lords to rob. See you in the den.